Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to animate this character that we've rigged in the previous video. And we're just gonna do something very simple. We're just gonna make him sit down on this chair. I've already uh, taken the liberty to put this chair on there. Uh, nothing too terribly complicated. It's just a chair um, that I got off the internet. I got it into Illustrator and um, imported it as an SVG graphic. Um, I've also done a video on SVG graphics. And so in the previous video, guys, we rigged this character. And um, to test everything out, I am in post mode and, and we can uh, check to see if everything is working accordingly. Boom, boom, yes. And it looks like everything is working fine. One thing that I do need to explain is that this rig is based on FK and FK stands for forward kinematics. And the way forward kinematics works guys is that um, the position of this elbow is determined by the rotation of the shoulder. Uh, in other words, the position of this wrist is determined by the position, by the rotation of the elbow and the shoulder. So um, that's forward kinematics. I know there's a, some scientific explanation or scientific definition for forward kinematics. The other uh, method is inverse kinematics and that's when you make uh, a chain, for example, of this leg and then you just grab the foot and move it and the knee and the hip bend as you move the ankle. Okay, one thing that I'd like to do before we get started animating him is make the skeleton a little less intrusive. Uh, in other words, I can't even see my character because this is, the bones are just way too big. So I'm gonna make him smaller by selecting it, going to the object mode, selecting it, and then going to the properties panel. And I'm gonna move this up a bit and here display as you can uh, display as a stick that's what we're going to use and there's a couple more different um, um, methods of displaying envelope and this one which is the the default and then we're going to use stick uh, but if you notice that some of the bones kind of disappear uh, because they're behind the objects, they're behind the the grease pencil objects. The head, the head bone is behind the head, and so what I'd like to do is display these in front by clicking on this option here in the viewport display, and then that fixes that. Uh, this way, the bones aren't as intrusive, um, and I can still get to them. So let's start animating. Like I said, this rig is based on FK forward kinematics. Think of an action figure. When you, when you rotate the shoulder, uh, well, the whole arm goes with it. And so that's how this works. So by sitting down, if I wanted to sit him down and move the hip, it's going to move the entire character along with it. And so before I do this, I'm gonna use the grease pencil as intended way back when the animators would actually take an actual grease pencil and mark on their monitors. And so I'm going to uh, go back to object mode and I'm going to add a grease pencil uh, stroke in here. Go to edit mode, select the stroke and delete it. And then I am going to mark, I'm gonna move this into place where these feet are because I don't want these feet to move and you'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna to go to draw. I am in the new um, stroke that I just created and I'm going to select maybe a red uh, stroke with a radius, maybe 20 is a little too much, maybe a radius of 10 with the strength of one, perfect. 
And so let's, uh, let's draw out where this foot is. Uh, and all I want is, uh, the, the only reason I'm doing this is to m just mark out where it needs to be. Since we're going to lose this position here in a minute. And like I was saying, the old time animators would use an actual grease pencil and mark their um, monitors just like I'm doing now, so that they can have a reference point as to where those feet should be. All right, let's zoom out and let's start animating. I'm going to go back to object mode and I'm going to grab the skeleton, the armature, go to pose mode and then start posing him. Now, here it is, I am in my timeline and I am going to turn on automatic keyframe, auto key. So let's go ahead and get started uh, animating. Uh, the first keyframe I'd like to do is move this hip um, bone to the sitting position. But before I do, I need a keyframe at, at one. Uh, and I'm going to end this animation like at frame 25. I'm going to move and zoom in so that we can see all the keyframes. And that frame one, let's key it. Uh, we've got a couple um, of ways of keying. One is just to barely move it and it'll register that keyframe. I'm gonna undo that. Or hit I. And, and you can um, keyframe all of these. And I'm just gonna keyframe the location and rotation. And there we go, we have our first keyframe and now I am going to assume that it's going to take him around about a second to sit down. This is the sitting position right there. Boom. And it's keyed because we have auto keyframe. Now, that doesn't look very good because our, our feet, our legs stayed straight. That's the next step. I am going to select the upper leg, go back to frame one key it, rotation and location, and then move to frame 20 and rotate. I know he looks funny, but it'll get there. Now the second one, go back to frame one, the lower leg, key it. I'm just hitting I, the I key and this may be a little high so I can take the time and adjust this one and there's our first leg boom done so if we look at our animation he sits down and then boom he's there and we'll take care of the of the uh, leg going further down that's okay all right so I'm going to stop it, go back to our first frame. The next thing is, uh, and we might uh, key both of these together and then key them both at the end frame as well, but one at a time. So let's push this one up here and this one back to where it goes. <clears throat> Uh, there it is, and, and now he's sitting down. And, th and so let's play and see what that looks like. Uh, not very good because obviously we've got an issue here, but he's basically sitting down. Let's go to frame uh, 10 and try to adjust the legs uh, so that he's sitting down or that he's uh, not moving further along than what we think. I'm gonna adjust the upper and the lower leg. And then I'm going to adjust the foot, um, but I'm gonna do that in a bit. Again, I need to adjust this and then this so that it uh, fits. 
so that it doesn't move. And then we're, we're going to have to probably adjust it at frame six. There we go. Boom. Boom. And then we could adjust it at frame six even a little bit further. And this one. And remember, we still have to adjust this foot. So let's go to frame one and watch, boom, as he sits down, that's okay. Now, this foot, let's hit I to start a, uh, a keyframe. At frame six, we need to rotate it a bit. At frame 10, I think we're good. And at frame 20, let's rotate him this way. All right, he's sitting down. We, st we can still adjust the animation a bit more, but then let's, uh, he, his upper body needs to be animated as well. Let's do that now. On frame, let's continue with the spine. At frame one, let's hit I and uh, keyframe the location and the rotation. At frame 10, he's going to be leaning forward and at frame 20, he's going to be leaning back. And let's, let's see how that looks. A little bit better, awesome. Now for the arms, let's do one arm together. Let's, I'm gonna select these two, hit I. And then at frame 10, rotate this, rotate this, this in. Sorry, right there. And that frame 20, he's going to fold his arms kind of like this. All right, cool. Maybe, yeah, not like that. That's, and, and then boom. Now the next one, the next arm. So let's take this and this, hit I, start up a keyframe. And then at 10, I'd like to put his arm out like this. Oops. And then at frame 20, let's push this arm in to about right there. And then this one up to about right there where it crosses his arms. Boom. Then the head. I'm gonna stop it, go to the first frame, click on the head. I'm gonna zoom out just a bit. Hit I and keyframe the rotation and the location. At frame 10, I'm gonna have him uh, look, put his head down a bit. And then at frame 20, Maybe he goes back. There we go. Uh, and like I said, um, we can adjust this. I think the foot needs a little bit of adjustment here. I think if we do put it in a little and then rotate it up a little, at frame, there we go. And so that's it guys, that's, uh, that's all there is to it. I can hide the armature to see our animation, hide it here in the outliner. And there we go. Uh, if you wanna have a little pause after he sits down, maybe we should end this at about maybe 35. Uh, and then he'll have a little pause, sit down, and then boom, there it is. Hey guys, um, even though this is very, very basic, we can still animate stuff. Oh, um, I forgot to hide the stroke as well. 
this is a basic rig and a basic little animation where he sits down. Uh, in the next video, I'd like to do a walk cycle with this character, but I need to turn him, use the same elements, but maybe turn him a little bit uh, facing to the side and then do a uh, walk cycle. Uh, and so guys, um, I hope that this has been helpful to you and I hope that you've liked the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.